The interactive dialogue session to review Bahrain's initial reports on the two optional protocols to the Convention on the Rights of the Child concluded at the Palais des Nations in Geneva. It included the protocol on the protection of children from their sale, exploitation of prostitution and pornography, and the protocol on the rejection of children in the armed conflict in particular. The Minister of Social Development and Head of Bahrain's delegation Osama Ben Ahmed Khalaf al Asfour said that Bahrain's commitment to the time frame specified by the committee to respond to the list of issues and to attend the discussion of the kingdom's two initial reports affirms the country's firm belief in the importance of raising the level of effectiveness and achievement in the field of human rights and advancing humanitarian work which is one of the most important pillars of the comprehensive development process. The directive of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister to hold an introductory day in the government schools underscores the great interest in Bahrain's educational system with the aim of providing an environment that encourages creativity and innovation at home and at school. In this regard, Bahrain has achieved numerous accomplishments thanks to the continuous care that the educational system receives from His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister, which has played a prominent role in enhancing the educational process in Bahrain and the success of the plans and initiatives emanating from the government's work programme. The Minister of Youth Affairs, Rawan Bent Najib Tawfiqi, met with the Assistant Secretary General of the Arab League of States and Head of the Social Affairs Sector, Ambassador Dr. Haifa Abu Ghazal, on the sidelines of the High Level Global Forum on Youth, Peace and Security, which also marked the launch of the Arab Strategy for Youth, Peace and Security 23 to 28 in Jordan. The minister commended the Arab League for its ongoing efforts to advance joint Arab initiatives in the youth sector, particularly its commitment to fostering innovative approaches to youth empowerment. She highlighted the ministry's commitment to strengthening collaboration with the League and leveraging its expertise to further develop Bahrain's youth sector. And for her part, the ambassador underscored Bahrain's significant contributions to youth development, affirming the League's dedication to supporting Arab youth, encouraging their innovation and promoting their global presence. The Minister of Youth Affairs, Rawan Bent Najib Tawfiqi, also met with Egypt's Minister of Youth and Sports, Dr. Ashraf Subhi, on the sidelines of her participation in the High Level International Forum on Youth, Peace and Security and the launch of the Arab Youth, Peace and Security Strategy 2328 in Jordan. The two sides discussed means to enhance youth cooperation. Tawfiqi emphasized the strong Bahraini Egyptian relations, particularly in the youth sector, and highlighted the progress made through joint initiatives and for her part doctor for his part dr sobhi commanded the strong cooperation between the two countries and the achievements of bahraini youth The seventh edition of the Nasser Ben Hamed Marine Heritage Season kicked off today with the open water swimming competition a Mawruth Swimmer. The race took place in the marine area between Manama and Muharraq, opposite the Bahrain National Museum, with around 40 participants competing in both categories. The organizing committee for the open water swimming competition has finalized the arrangements for the event, holding meetings with the participants and other relevant entities to finalize the rules, regulations and safety procedures. The Nasser Ben Hamed Marine Heritage Season is one of the most prominent competitions organized by the Bahrain Inherit Traditional Sports Committee, Mawruth. It includes multiple competitions held over three months, aiming to revive Bahrain's marine heritage, which has long been renowned and established Bahrain as an important regional center for pearl diving. In addition to open water swimming, this edition of the Nasser Ben Hamed Marine Heritage Sports Season includes the traditional fishing competition Hadag, 30-foot traditional boat rowing races and a breath-holding competition, which is another new event introduced this year. And before we end the news, let's take a look at the latest cultural news in the following report. The Tourism Identity in the Department of Culture and Tourism in Abu Dhabi announced the Hayyakum in Abu Dhabi, 
the launch of its latest campaigns, Al Ain, a vibrant oasis, including a series of documentary films that calls on all members of the Emirati society and visitors to explore the rich history of Al Ain region. Al Ain is the most important of its most authentic and cultural tourist attractions, and the unique destinations and distinctive attractions aim to establish the UAE's position as a favored destination for family and friends. The campaign transmits through its four documentary parts witness to the heart of Al Ain region and enables them to explore the old fortress, oasis, palm trees, as well as identify the various experiences provided by this destination and many other activities. Qatar Museums announced the establishment of the Ellsworth Kelly, a century of creativity. During the period from October 31st to February of 2025, at the Qatar Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship in the fields of design, fashion and technology, where about 70 works will be displayed from the Genton Museum Group, along with other pieces of various major international museums. The exhibition organized by the Glinsey Museum in Maryland commemorates the march of the late artist Ellsworth Kelly, which spans seven decades and is the first recovery exhibition for the artist's work in the Middle East, North Africa and South Asia, and it comes to the centenary of the artist's birth in 2023, which is one of the largest resistance exhibitions of Ellsworth Kelly works in the 21st century. In the Kingdom of Morocco, a number of Moroccan regions and cities, including the capital, witnessed the launch of dozens of cultural and artistic events to revive the culture of dialogue, tolerance, and diversity through a series of intellectual seminars and cultural meetings, exhibitions of books, plastic art, traditional Moroccan craft products, various musical evenings, and conferences. The summer of 2024 in Morocco is an opportunity to enjoy natural beauty in Morocco, and it is an ideal opportunity to learn about the cultural diversity in the country. Two bronze horse statues, each three meters high and weighing two tons, had been missing for more than 70 years, and many believed that they had been destroyed during World War II. But the statues reappeared in a former Soviet military barracks, and then disappeared again after the fall of the Berlin Wall. In 2013, German police received information indicating that the statues were being sold on the black market, which led to a large-scale raid. After a long legal battle, the authorities were able to retrieve the statues and restore one of them to be displayed in Spandau Castle in Berlin, where it became part of a permanent exhibition showcasing a side of German history. The horses are, as art critics agree, a symbol of Nazi propaganda art, as they reflect Nazi ideology, by embodying extreme power, and they were part of Hitler's vision to decorate the world capital Germania that he planned to create. Today, these artworks are on display as part of efforts to understand and address Germany's complex and controversial past, offering an opportunity to reflect on the effects of extremist ideologies on art and society.